Welcome back to Save Your Money, the series where I tell you what skincare and beauty products not to buy. First up, we have a $168 sunscreen. It's U Beauty's Multimodal Defender Balm. This is a super thick, zinc only mineral sunscreen. It's got a white cast. It felt really uncomfortable on my skin. It has that zinc smell to it too. Like I smelled like zinc all day when I wore this. They really positioned this as an anti-dark spot product. If that were the case, I'd like to see an SPF of more than 30 and a PA rating of more than three pluses. Like take it to four. Also, if you do want to protect against hyperpigmentation, you'd probably want to go with a tinted sunscreen that's also going to defend against some of that visible light you get from the sun because that can worsen hyperpigmentation too. Maybe you would like this if you have super dry skin or if you're super pale and don't mind a white cast, but for $168, like even those people have a better, more affordable option. On the other end of the cost spectrum, we have gloves in a bottle. This is a hand shielding lotion. Several people that I like and really respect online were talking about how they love this. It purports to be different than other hand creams. They tried to make it super light and bare bones so that it's non-greasy. This formula relies mostly on dimethicone, which is a fine skin protecting ingredient, and some glycerin. They really market this towards healthcare workers, and as a healthcare worker myself, I felt like this really did not stand up to the job. It really is not robust enough for it to like make a difference for dry hands, in my opinion. And I think it's because it's missing a lot of components that you would like to see in a hand cream. There are plenty of other hand creams out there with dimethicone and glycerin in them. So like, I just felt like, you know, this was not for me. Lastly, we have RMS Lip Lights. This is a $28 lip balm. It's tinted, it has a pretty good formula. What ruins this for me is the packaging. They put it in one of these metal tubes, and I don't know if this is because they're a clean brand and they were looking for a way to use less preservatives, but because of that, it's mostly composed of oils and waxes. So when it gets cold, it's, you know, like hard to get out of this tube. I also would have liked something that I could just like apply on the lips, which you can't really do with that. You would cut yourself. This would have been better little lip balm tins. This goes to show you how packaging can really affect the user experience. What products have you tried recently that you don't like? Do you love one of these? Do you think that I am off my rocker? Let me know in the comments. De-influence us. Fight with me. Let's have an argument.